Let's see if it is working because I've been having a little problems with my, I think it is, yes, it's working. So, hello, I am uh, doing a little vlog, not um, a full review. Um, I had intended to film a full review of Rembrandt watercolor paints. As you know, I had my collection of these paints nearly complete. Um, I was missing only 10 colors. And what I had done, because I wanted to have this workable paint box with all the colors in it, I had this Magello, I think it's a Magello paint box, the blue, a blue one or, or another. Yeah, it's a Korean box, so it's probably Magello. And um, what I had done is I had flipped it around and on one side of the box is just the normal mixing, you know, wells. And on the other side, I stuck all the um, all the half pans that I had collected. So, and as you can see, in between the pans, I wrote down the numbers of the paints that were missing. So, um. I haven't been reviewing a lot of paints recently, even though I have loads. I actually really have loads of paint to review. Um, I don't know. I just, with this whole COVID situation, and then I got sent this beautiful natural watercolor paint, and I was just working on this review. I tested it, a demo. I filmed a demo, and I got the request, please don't, because something, I don't know what, um, was going on so I'm I've put that on hold so then I figured this weekend if I don't do that review then I just want to complete my Rembrandt water collection and you know swatch it out for you and um, what I finally wanted to do <laughs> was I wanted to compare a lot of the um, pigments I wanted to just you know there were I reviewed this paint a long time ago in 2014. I just looked it up and I noticed that some people emailed me or there were replies saying that, well, some people thought it was fantastic and wanted to buy it. And then it was quite expensive in the United States. Um, and then there were some people who said, oh, there is a lot of multi-pigment paint in that and, you know, multi-pigment colors in that. I'm not sure if it's really good. And I said, look, it is really good. It was fantastic. It was the first artist quality paint that I had, but still it was even, you know, when I, I've i got a lot of brands, not all of them, and I've got a lot of them. I've got the Schminky Horadam. I've got the Daniel Smith. I've got some Martha the M. Grahams. I always say Martha Grahams. I don't know why, but M. Grahams. Um, just a few colors, though. Um, Sennelier, of course. Um, I've got the full set and you know they are absolutely fantastic but Rembrandt still competes they t for me they are in the top so I've always planned to complete that collection and show you I mean you know maybe it's a little bit like showing them here in the Netherlands we can do something right <laughs> we can do a lot of things right now but it's kind of like you know there was this huge invasion of art supplies um coming here in the Netherlands in the local in, in the local art stores like Derwent it just flushed away so many of the brands that were there that were always just there and it was brands that we knew and all of a sudden you can't get them anymore because Rembrandt has got the um, Derwent just uh, arranged these contracts and then all of a sudden so many other brands were gone and then you know there was Golden it just flushed the market here and it is really great stuff it really is but there is still also a lot of great stuff coming here from our uh, Dutch. I don't know if it's the Dutch factories or that they have it produced somewhere. But still, you know, we do really have good product. And I wanted to, to share that. I don't have any shares in this. I don't have any um, liaisons with them. I'm, I'm just, I just wanted to show you that this paint is really great to work with. However, that being said, because I'm speaking in like I was going to show you, I wanted to show you, that being said, <laughs> there was good news and there's bad news. 
The bad news is that there's no way I was going to be able to complete my collection this weekend because, lo and behold, Talents Rembrandt have updated their, um, their, their, their palette, their colour chart, their, their watercolour collection. I mean, that's really good news because they have a lot of single pigments added. They've got a lot of beautiful um, colours added to it. Um, I... I find it a little bit hard to um, to um, to put it in my mind when I can only see it in letters and writing, um, but I have the feeling they've got a lot more um, very bright and very transparent colours added. Um, they issued they they released a box full of granulated granulating colours. <laughs> God, I gotta have that. Um, but the bad thing about this is, and I do feel a little bit frustrated about that I really have to admit that here is now there is not just 10 colors missing but 45 no 554 54 colors and it's artist great paint so that's not something you just you know you don't just go out and buy 54 colors of paint and you don't really need them you just really want them so it's not something you just do for fun. So I don't have them and I can't give you the full review that I've been planning to do this week. Ah. And then there is a second complication because the reason why I'm missing 54 colors, they didn't add 54 colors, but the reason why I'm missing 54 colors of the current watercolor collection that they have is that they have replaced quite a few of the old colours that I have, that I have, the present tense. So I have a lot of old rubbish in, <laughs> not old rubbish, but I have a lot of old colours and I did notice that some of the new colours, the new colour numbers actually are made of the same pigments. So I'm sending them an email or I have already sent them an email and I'm going to ask them whether they just gave them new colour numbers or that they are doing something different with the pigment. So is, is the paint really different or is it the same? And I want to know because the, re the reason why is I can't review this paint until I know. Because otherwise I might make you drool and all enthusiastic about these colours and then you go running to, a, to a, an art store and they're going to tell you, oh, that's no longer in the collection. I'm sorry. And I would just hate that to happen. So I'm just, I'm a little delighted, but I'm also a little bit frustrated because I really wanted to do this big, big review. And, um, well, there is no way I'm going to be doing that now. So I'm just going to have to paint. <laughs> no, there is a lot, like I said, there is so much paint that I have here. Um... One of the uh, brands that I have, and it's just, it's a wacko one, I, I think, in my experience, is Paul Rubens. Um, it's a, a tube collection of 24, and I bought them this week. And um, in themselves, lovely colors. I'm go I'll, I'll swatch them for you. But the wacko thing about this is that in a 24 set that should be carrying you know, like basic colors to mix a very white palette with, what they put in there is actually a couple of neon colors. They're not officially neon, but they are neon-like. So it's like this PY3 yellow, it, it almost gives light. Same thing here with the, the Pyrrol orange here, which is a two pigment Pyrrol orange, by the way. Also, it just gives light. But then how about this neon pink? I can't show you that on camera it's impossible now you know this is actually a very expensive camera but the colors and the lighting are horrible as you can see because I'm I already see that there is way too much light now here sorry I keep trying to 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 get the settings right but it just doesn't work anyway but this is a very very neon color for a basic set and the permanent green is very, very, they're too bright, in my opinion. Um, there is no black in there, which is a pity because, you know, a neutral tint or a black or a paint grey 
um, it will just help you tone colors down. And there is this lavender in it. What is a lavender doing in a set of 24? The only reason I can think of why the do reasons can be that this Paul Rubens, I think, is a Chinese brand. And I've already noticed with Asian brands is that they, they carry different colors because they, they have a different culture, different colors. That can be an explanation. The other explanation can be that they have seen how popular the, for instance, Daniel Smith, Lavender is. And I think other brands, if, if I'm correct, Rembrandt has also added um, a Lavender. I, I don't know by heart anymore. But um, because so many people are working with watercolor these days, and not just the artists are using artist grade, but many craft people are using um, artist grade paint and they want it really mixed out of the tubes. So there's a lot of, you know, popular colors and, and, and trendy colors coming in. And I think that could be an explanation for the lavender too. And, um, but I think this is a weird color set. In themselves, the paints were okay, but I'll show you that in a um, in a review. And I've got I've got Himi gouache. Um, oh, I've got Sonnet. Um, oh, there are so many paints that I have ready to review. I think, if I'm correct, 14 different brands that I've left to show you. And um, well, not Rembrandt today. I'm so sorry. I would have loved to share that with you, but that's going to be another time. I'm going to, hopefully, I'm getting a response from um, Thailand in which I'm getting some more information on the paints. And then um, I can share that with you. And uh, then um, I'm just going to have to uh, slowly um, <laughs> expand on my existing collection and... <laughs> pull out all the glued ones that I glued tight into this box um, and um, you know carry an old color palette and a new color palette or something I don't know so anyways that was my ramble for today I hope you've enjoyed it even though it wasn't extremely informative and um, well Let's see each other again soon. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, then you can subscribe and you can also check out my website. I've turned things around. It's now becoming, I'm working on it. So not everything is working for 100% yet, but um, yeah, working on it, like I said. So thank you very much for watching and see you again very quickly, I hope. Bye.